The R&D that has been um, going on across the community at, um, uh, at the moment, it's been exploring artificial intelligence and machine learning approaches, uh, primarily within um, you know, classification of, uh, of data, remote sensing data and so on. Now, I think this, what we've done so far as a community, as a geospatial community has been excellent. Now we need to move the bar up uh, a bit. We need to start uh, developing and experimenting with solutions or workflows that bring all those different artificial intelligence and machine learning approaches together such that solutions and systems can make several, uh, you know, can make a series of decisions, um, you know, within a single task. And I think really what we need to try to do is to keep pushing the bar, keep moving the you know, design and or, or geographic information systems and other geospatial technologies towards a point where you know systems can help us um, you know, where the machine can help us uh, achieve many of those uh, activities yeah I, I definitely see opportunities i think that these new standards on services like the the api for features which are being uh, provided in uh, a different way it's more uh, api oriented it's not a fixed uh, encoding you can uh, actually provide information that could be uh, handled in ordinary browsers i mean you could have an html um, implementation of this and uh, I, I definitely see this as a, a big opportunity. I, I think one, one another of the challenges is the number of API. Should you have very specific API for each data set or should you have some more generic API? And I think that this new series of API for features is more generic. And in addition to a generic way of handling spatial information, they can also handle non-spatial information. So how we could uh, market or outreach this in e-government solutions in general that that, that will be challenging but uh, also quite uh, interesting to see how we could do that uh, so there, we see a lot of opportunities in in cooperation um in, in cooperation across across at every level so across cities across regions across borders um for, for what it's related to territory but also um between different um industries um and therefore quite a few so the walloon region is, is um investing heavily in smart regions um so it, it's um putting quite a lot of um effort in that um with flanders as well so we're um we're heavily investing in smart cities um, in order to get quite a few industries together um, to cooperate, to use location data more extensively. Um, and by really focusing on these smart cities, we hope to um, galvanize the actors to, to, to bring it one level higher um, and work towards smart regions by proving what we can do on the local um level uh, and, and and scaling that up we hope to um to show on and at the regional level um what is possible and what are positive outcomes of uh, using location data more more extensively well uh, on one hand side as i said we have a relatively good uh, legal and uh, strategical framework uh, in may many many national level action plan we already put this uh, formal requests on the other hand we have a relatively not relatively but extremely fast uh, developing uh, technological solutions and new uh, approaches uh, innovative approaches uh, which is uh, uh, integrated uh, spatial data um, in wider uh, aspect of sectors and processes with uh, usage of modern technology, Internet of Things, sensors and uh, real-time uh, data maintenance, etc. So all these, uh, both uh, those uh, elements are the opportunity that in the future uh, 
innovative approaches uh, will be uh, realized so uh, and and achieved uh, the benefit for the entire society so i'm quite sure that uh, with this approach we will integrate uh, as much as possible uh, data and services into the future future uh, digital economy so we will uh, all together deliver uh, data and services which will be location based and it which will be uh, solving the practical problems and practical uh, processes uh, support the practical processes um I, I i think that the bigger opportunity for location interoperability uh is for artificial intelligence and future data analysis capabilities so as as we move towards uh, uh 2030 and we we see that uh, the cities and governments are feeling a lot of pressure to reduce the emissions uh to meet the sustainable development goals uh, we can have uh, artificial intelligence mechanisms to analyze this data uh, and, and simulate scenarios on how to improve. And if we have the proper location interoperability mechanisms, we can understand the data traceability. So we can understand where this, the, did this data come from? How did how did this agent took this decision? And not have this black box that that uh, uh, picked up some some random data from instance from uh, a data set made available by a United States city or or by a different a different uh, context. So as as long as we have this digital agenda uh, moving forward and we have this interoperability. Uh, currently in, in the market, we are enabling uh, future uh, AI opportunities to solve uh, proper use cases, leveraging on uh, open interfaces and open, open data.